Let's go. We see the hype outside. Right from the house. Uh. Hey guys, Golden here, and welcome back to another Fortnite mobile update video. Now guys, today, yeah, we have an interesting video. Today, I'm going to be discussing a topic that some of you guys may have heard on my Twitter or my TikTok or pretty much anywhere, but basically, today we're going to be discussing how I'm going to be bringing Fortnite back to iOS and how you guys are going to be able to play Season 5 on iOS with touch controls so you're gonna be able to play with your normal hud layout tool all that stuff you're gonna be able to normally play fortnite mobile like you're used to just with a little more input delay but other than that you guys are actually going to be able to play fortnite mobile on your ios device with every single new update and guys this is not clickbait or anything i myself and a few other developers are actually working together to get this done for you guys and today i want to basically share with you guys the first update on this entire situation i've been working on for the past few weeks or so so i want to kind of share with you guys what i've been doing in the past few weeks and what i'm going to be doing with this entire situation with bringing fortnite back to the app store now first off just to make this clear fortnite is not actually coming back to the app store using this method but what i'm doing is me and a few other developers i'm working with a few other really known developers who have literally coded softwares that jailbreak i was device like these guys are insane developers out there and i'm working with these developers in order to basically make our own app with fortnite mobile hud buttons and touch controls on the app along with obviously the Fortnite experience with season five. So we're working together with these developers and I myself been helping them too to try to like make the HUD layout tool. But basically we're gonna be making our own version of the Fortnite mobile app with touch controls on the app store so a few weeks ago i got hit up by this developer basically saying that he was willing to help me bring fortnite back to ios with the new update so we're not stuck in season three anymore and i was like obviously i'm down with that and then we actually talked for a little bit longer he explained what he wanted to do and now i kind of understand the basis of what we're going to be doing and he actually started working on it for a few weeks now and now we actually have a first draft to this little software that he's been developing and let's just say it is looking super sick so to actually develop this, I hit up my homie Scorps to send me every single Fortnite iOS button in the game. And he sent me every single iOS button that exists, even creative buttons, mech buttons, everything. And then I sent it over to this developer. And what he actually did is created his like, own little HUD layout tool, which I'll show on screen right now. He's created his own HUD layout tool with the buttons from Fortnite Mobile. And everyone's going to be able to use those buttons in order to basically crank, jump, and do everything. So the jump button has basically been binded to the controller A button. So what we're doing is we're using GeForce Now software. If you guys didn't know what GeForce Now is, it's basically the software that has come to iOS, but does not have Fortnite on it just yet. But if you guys use an external browser, you can actually get Fortnite on GeForce Now, which is what this developer is actually doing. So he's using an external browser, and then he is binding controller buttons, which are compatible with GeForce on that browser. And he's bounding the jump button, which is A on the controller, if you guys didn't know, or at least on an Xbox controller. And he's bounding that button with the actual jump button on Fortnite mobile. So the button that you'd actually tap gets binded to A on the controller, which makes you jump so basically by tapping that jump button it will then make you jump on the game and that's what he's kind of doing i know it's a little bit confusing and he's trying to do that though and it's come out pretty nice now unfortunately as of now they have not actually done the bindings the developers have not actually binded these buttons just yet however from the first draft the game looks sick it literally looks like fortnite mobile season 5 the hud buttons are sick the hud layout tool works perfectly fine and it shows that this man has actually coded the hud layout tool and the hud buttons with this app now, as of now there's only been one draft that has been completed with this software however he said by apparently around next week he might be able to get this working so guys by around next week we could be seeing fortnite back on ios and you guys may be able to play it again on your ios devices with touch controls so yeah that would be pretty sick. So basically what we've done is because GeForce Now wouldn't implement their own touch controls, I decided to take the credit and implement it myself because GeForce Now was taking way too long. I mean, it's been like three months. And just to show how slow GeForce Now is being, I'm going to prove that I can literally get this done in a week. Obviously not just me, a few other developers, but GeForce Now has a whole team and Epic Games has a whole entire team. And me as a content creator is about to get this done for the mobile community because they can't get it done. That's literally what we're doing basically. So it's basically it's GeForce Now with touch controls controls already set up because GeForce Now wanted to do themselves and because they probably not going to be releasing it anytime soon I decided I would take it into my own hands to save the Fortnite mobile community so that's basically what I'm doing now obviously there are a lot of downsides to this a a lot of regions are supported so I do apologize guys unfortunately a lot of
lot of you guys watching are not gonna be able to play this unless you use a VPN. But other than that, unfortunately, there's really not much you guys can do. So I'm sorry. But unfortunately, this isn't exactly like the perfect fix, but it's a fix for a lot of people watching. So I thought I'd still mention that. I mean, obviously, the perfect fix would be Fortnite coming back to the app store. But I mean, the other downside also is the input delay might be a little bad. So don't get your hopes up with this at all by any means. Don't be like, oh my god, it's gonna be perfect. There's gonna be no input delay. Don't think like that, because trust me, the input delay is gonna be pretty bad. But the cool thing is also, if you guys have any feedback on the software, so if you guys have an issue with the software, I can hit up my developer friend. And since I'm actually the owner of this, I can basically control it and like fix a bug or something. So if you guys have any issues with the software, whenever it does release, I can fix it right away. And that would be kind of nice. So I kind of like that, knowing that I have the power to fix any bugs with this. But I mean, yeah, guys, overall, I'm super hyped to see how this turns out. I just want to let you guys know, I am going to be bringing Fortnite back to iOS over the next month or so. So be ready for that and turn on those post notifications. Obviously, subscribe to the channel if you guys are out and new to the channel because we got some good stuff coming up. And also, I just want to say, I've now started up a TikTok and I've been releasing a daily content on my TikTok starting today. So if you guys all want to go check out my TikTok, I want to be posting the news even before my Twitter gets it. So if you guys want to go check out my TikTok, go drop a follow. I will leave the link down below. My at is I'm Golden YT at TikTok. So go drop a follow. I'd really appreciate that. Also, like the recent post because it's kind of cool. But yeah, guys, this was a super short video. I want to end it off right there. I'm not going to stretch this by any means. I want to get this really quick, straight to the point. So yeah, guys, unfortunately, that's going to be the end of today's video. But thank you guys all so much for watching. But this has been Golden. Do with this information as you will. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.